The national men's team coach welcomes the Canada matchup and believes at this level of football, you have to be ready for whatever opponent may come your way. We in the, game, we in the final eight. Um, really privileged to be here, um, to be in the final eight of CONCACAF, trying to push for this um, spot in the, in the, in the um, Copa America. So you can't play mass and freight powder. So, you know, we, we have to play whoever that we get in front of them. Hopefully the last couple of games would have given the players a little bit more confident and show that uh, we, we can compete at this, at this level. He adds the team will hope to prepare adequately for the Canada Challenge. Most of our players would be actually being pre-season um, away. The local guys would be in-season because this season is starting in, uh, in the next couple of days. Um, so that, that's one positive from that standpoint. Um, so we'll have to, to look at the schedule. Um, we've been liaising with the players already to find out how the schedule looking. Um, so once they get the final schedule from the teams, then we could put a final um, plan in place. But you're right, we would want to get um, some much-needed match practice at international level. Eve's team has shown a never-give-up attitude under the former national midfielder. And he credits his staff for this approach. The staff has done, a, I mean, Derek King, Ronald Carrington, um, you know, Clayton Inns, goalkeeper and coach. You can see the work being done, you know. Um, and all the guys in the backroom staff, the doctor and all the medical staff, you know, work really hard to make sure that all the players are very fit and raring to go. So and from a mental standpoint, you know, it's fortunate Carrington, myself, Derek Clayton Inns, and Daryl John have all played at this level of football before. We all played in Gold Cups and World Cup qualifying. So that, that helps that we can have these conversations with the players. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.